I have a spear fishing trip coming up next week. Um, I'm really excited for it. I think I'll get to um, stay for a couple days and kind of camp out and stuff like that too. Um, the last time I went to this spot, I got into a couple of schools of nice big eight, nine inch bluegill. Um, hopefully I'll find a, another big school or two. You know, I, I'd like to shoot some walleye or some pike or some big bass, but I, uh, I like bluegill. The spear gun that I have was probably a little bit too much medicine for bluegill, especially when they were only foot away from me. Um, when I first started, I built this pole spear. Um, it's just a piece of EMT conduit, and then the ends are plugged with a wood dowel. I bought this adapter um, from linghunt.com. I don't know if he still makes these things or not, but it threaded into a 3 8 um, coupling. And then I just slammed that down inside the EMT conduit. And it worked great. I took my first fish ever with this spear. I shot a couple of walleye, a smallmouth, and several carp with it. Um, but I found out that it's a little too long. It's only five feet to here. Um, you know, plus another foot with the tip. I was having a lot of trouble with it banging on the rocks behind me um, and spooking fish that way. So I was going to cut this down and make it smaller, uh, but I hate to do that because it was my first one and I built it and shot my first few fish with it. Um, so instead, I think I'm going to build a new one. Picked up some of these bamboo super poles. This stuff should work pretty good. I was thinking about four feet um, over, like total length, four feet. I am 30 inches long from my shoulder blade to my fist. Um, so, you know another foot or so sticking out in front of me that should be plenty good so here we're going to make a pole spear got the bamboo super stakes i got a three foot chunk of three sixteenth Weld steel, cold rolled steel rod. Um, my my options were one eighth and three sixteenths, and the one eighth felt super flimsy. I don't know how thick the tines on a three prong are, but this one just feels a little sturdier. It's still flexible, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap. So three sixteenths. Um, the only kind of elastic band I could find locally is this uh, 3 8 outside diameter by quarter inside diameter um, latex hose. And for bluegill and stuff, hopefully this will be enough. Um, my other pole spear bands were thicker um, and had a smaller inside diameter. But this is what we've got, so that's what we're going to work with. I have the dowel rod left over from that one. And some 5 minute epoxy because I ran out. Okay, enough yapping, let's get to building.
the end tried to split on me. That's why I put that wire on there to stop the split from getting bigger. Okay, we'll let that set up for a little while. And while we wait, we'll make the band. So since I know I'm going to hold the spear at 30 inches, you take that length and divide it by 2, and that's the appropriate length for a spear band. Or at least that's what I read on the internet. So that would be 15 inches of band. I'm going to hold that. That feels about right. I am going to go ahead and use paracord for the main portion of the loop. Figure eight knot. Stick that down there just far enough so we can tie it off. The rubber portion is 15. The non-working paracord portion is right at 8 inches that way. It gives me probably a little more than I need. That'll work. Let's tie it off. Got a couple lengths of nylon thread. I think it's kite string or something. I used it for uh, tying knocking points onto my recurve string. I can't remember how to do this for sure. I don't think I need to look it up, but I feel like it's just like a clove hitch knot. For safety's sake, I'm going to do it again on the opposite side. Make an X. Come around it. Over the tag end. Through the X. That should work.
I was going to heat straighten it because it's a little wonky, but not by much. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm going to sand it down to 220, 300 grit, and then uh, I'm going to seal this end, this hole I drilled. I'm going to seal that up with some glue and uh, give the whole thing a coat or two of polyurethane, and we'll be ready to go next week. Definitely going to get a bluegill with that. Hopefully a nice big fat one. Stick around. I'll get to test it out in a week.